Okay, let's get these opened up. So in order to open them, you're going to use this pointy end into this aluminum end. You're going to poke it in there. Now we're ready to go. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Heather Rog. As promised, today we're going to be doing a taste and paste test with some of Norwegian's uh, popular squeezes. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with fish cakes. They actually smell good, um, so I warmed them in the pan. It says three minutes on each side. I did a little longer just to make sure they were warm. I'm not really sure how to eat them, so I'm just going to take a bite and see how they taste. They look like pancakes, and you heat them up like pancakes. You just kind of flip them around. Are we ready for this? Just getting right into it. Hmm. It doesn't taste bad. It's a, maybe a texture thing. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know. It's just kind of mashed together fish. Hmm. I would eat it. And I'm sure if there was a different way to eat it, it might be even better. Not too shabby start. It's making me feel good about this. Okay. I'm going to save this for last because it's the thing I'm the most nervous about. Just because, I don't know, I just think of sardines and I don't typically eat those. But um, I'll just put that aside for now. Moving on. We're going to... Go on to the caviar. Okay, so let's get this caviar paste on here. Comes out in like a little star shape. It's kind of hard for you to tell. You get that spread. Okay. Are you ready? That's actually pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more on just to make sure I'm tasting it. Because I'm surprised that I like it. It's actually not bad. It's real flavorful. A little salty, but not bad. And I can imagine the way they eat it typically is spread on a piece of bread with maybe slices of cucumbers or a piece of cheese or ham. And I think the combination would be good. Okay. Not bad. All right. Moving on. We go with the bacon cheese. And I did get two of these. I got um, this brand and uh, the Norwegian brand. So we shall see if one tastes better than the other. Now we're going to do the Bacon oost or cheese. Oist? No, that's the O with the line through it. Oost. There we go. Get that spread out. And the best of my understanding, this is our made in Norway bacon cheese. So we're going to compare the two, see which one's better. Okay, are we ready? That's pretty mild. Let's compare it to the Norwegian brand. I actually like the Norwegian one better. It just tastes like richer. That's pretty good. I will definitely eat that. All right. Moving on to our um, ham, so we're for ham cheese. I'm not gonna lie, when I first would see this word, in my mind I would read stinky. I was changing this first K to a T. Um, I, don't, I don't know why. Um, my brain was just doing that, probably still trying to figure out how to convert words. 
Now we have our ham. And same with this one, I did this Cavalli brand and the Norwegian brand. So we'll compare them. And here's the Norwegian brand. Again, the Cavalli brand, pretty mild. All right, we're gonna try the Norwegian one. Definitely richer. It's interesting though, this one doesn't have that it's made with the Norwegian brands, um, if you can catch that. The Norwegian brands uh, milk, dairy. This one doesn't say that but they still have similar tastes. So, interesting. Okay, now we're gonna move on to uh, I was trying to decide, I have the mackerel paste, which is probably similar to the other thing, but I think what I'll do is move on to this liver, liver paste. I think it's liver paste, I'm not sure. I'm gonna open this one for you right here. That's it. I'm not sure. I see commercials and the kids and the commercials are eating this on bread. It smells like Vienna sausage, like in the US. So if that's the case, I, I think I can, I can go with it. I'm gonna have to look up what the word actually means. Wonder. That's kind of what it tastes like. Yeah, if you can imagine a Vienna sausage ground up, made into a paste, that's what this tastes like. I'm quite surprised, it's not that bad. I feel like Vienna sausage, which I never did mind. Okay, all right, Norway. We got it going. So let's go with the paste first. And now we have the mackerel and tomatoes. Oh, we. Okay. Here we go. Does that smell strong? Again, it's really not bad. It's like fishy tomatoes. Okay. I can get on board with this. All right. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this one's going to look like. Oh. I imagined it a little bit more chunky since it was in a can like this, but it appears to kind of have a similar texture as the squirt paste, so maybe it's a convenience thing. Uh, it might, yeah, it might have a little bit more chunks of fish in there. So this one, I'm going to go for a cracker. It smells good. It smells more um, tomato-y. I'd eat it. It's not something I'm gonna go buy again. Just because, it, oh, it says salsa on this one instead of tomatoes. Maybe that's why it's got a little bit more of a tomato -y smell, but I'm probably not gonna just buy it to eat it. But if I was out hiking or camping and needed some protein and wanted something different, I would eat it. Okay. I have been pleasantly surprised by this Norwegian taste test. I 
think I just thought that the squirts would be a little bit more intimidating, but they are actually pretty good. Um, mm, if I had to pick a favorite, it's gonna be probably this bacon one. Let me see. Probably the bacon or cheese one. Now I will say, they have a lot more of these, especially in this um, Kevli brand. They have jalapeno, chili, um, I don't know, you name it. I feel like it's there. It's like a whole rack shelf. Mm. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> and you mix it with cheese? It's amazing. So, there we have it. Um, my first Norwegian taste test. I diligently held off on trying these things so I could do it in front of you all just in case there was anything that wasn't good because I, wouldn't, I wasn't gonna try it again. But surprisingly, I like them all. Some I prefer more than others, but all in all, I'm enjoying Norwegian food. Okay, so, after a savory snack, one might want something sweet. So uh, Norwegians love their quick lunch. Quick lunch, lunch, I'm still working on it. Uh, so I thought, well, I have eaten these. I, I didn't hold off on eating these, but I'll show you. It is um, their version of um, an American Kit Kat. And my understanding is that this one was first. And if we copied it, we didn't copy it as well. Uh, these taste better. The neat thing is they have these like set of mountain rules on the inside and I've used Google Translate uh, to interpret that for me. But anyway, pretty much just gives you some safety tips um, when out camping. Yep, see it cracks just like a Kit Kat into little bars with a cute little bird on there. There's the bird. <coughs> There you go, just like a Kit Kat, but better. The chocolate is just better. I typically go for dark chocolate, but the milk chocolate here in Norway is delicious. It's just smooth, it's delicious. Now I just have to finish it. Thanks for joining me again. I look forward to seeing you next time. We'll see what next time brings. But until then, see you later.